Hey guys, this is Crap Hunter, and welcome to another channel update video. Jesus Christ, I think this is the ninth. Ah! Anyway, we've got a lot to talk about now, so let's get started. YouTube. Yeah! YouTube. Arshlaw. Um, okay, basically, for any of you guys who don't know, uh, YouTube has recently implemented a copyright like it's, it basically they've updated the copyright servers so that they make them rather rather than being normal to super freaking strict like really really strict um put it in this perspective if you have like 5 seconds of a song that even if you were playing a let's play for example for, uh, for example I'll give you a good example um I my world my mountain blade warband you know clash of kings mod that has a copyright notice on it because I hadn't turned down the music and I didn't know how loud the music was and for like 10 seconds or so there was a song being played and then all of a sudden copyright's like eh, no no we don't like it you know even though we're being advertised for free we'll steal your money well I don't make money on the channels so fuck you now, I mean, I can't, I don't know whether I can say that much because I don't actually make any kind of money whatsoever on this channel. So, technically speaking, I should be a golden little boy because I don't actually claim stuff. But it's the sole practice that loads of people are now so desperate for money that they're willing to go onto YouTube and practically rob people. This is like an internet mugging. It's like you don't have what they have so instead of just trying to do the honorable thing and try and get to where they are or what position they are by creating your own kind of content creating your own kind of stuff and getting it out there or working with said person to help expand yourself up there you just rob him in the middle of the night by a copyright infringement this is like a mugging can this is like legalized mugging it's it's stupid. It's absolutely fucking retarded. And I think anyone who thinks that that's a good idea, that people who should have copyright shouldn't do it, blah, 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 obviously live in a rich family in the middle of Yorkshire and hunt foxes. Um, yeah, they're, they're, that's just a low blow. And I, and I feel so sorry for some of the channels out there, like, um, especially channels like Angry Joe. I know, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this, but as I don't make money, I suppose I can. I have so much sympathies for you, mate. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Tough break. I mean, he. I saw his video, his rant. He's, he said he'd, do, he'd never do an angry rant video, and then here he is doing an angry rant video at the company of YouTube. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, is that what YouTube's doing? You know, I mean, for example, another channel, like Rexasaur, if you've subscribed to him, you will have seen his, uh, what, YouTube censorship. And it is, you know, in a sense it is, because it's just, I'm going to call it legalized mugging, though, because I like the sound of that. It's 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 my own thing. Um, but no, it is just absolutely ridiculous that people are now stooping to this level. I mean, copyright claims are important. You don't want someone to steal your stuff that you're making money on and say it was theirs. That I understand. But for someone to do something like, oh, I don't know, play a fucking game and have content and show the game for what it's worth and if they like it like for example um, I mean I know that there are people out there who have you know the companies have tweeted on Twitter stating oh we haven't done anything you know we haven't sent it and you know maybe they have maybe they haven't I don't know but it just it's like it feels like no one ever trusts youtubers and it and to be honest with you being a youtuber although I'm an amateur one in comparison to all the big leagues um, YouTube is a bit like being the job that everyone thinks is fantastic, but really it isn't. Like, I guarantee that um, maybe a few professional YouTubers who watch this video, if you are, thanks for watching, um, <laughs> are watching this. They, it's a bit like people saying, oh, I'm going to grow up to be a games tester. And the concept originally sounds absolutely fantastic. You get to play video games all day and you get paid for it. And that seems like the perfect job. But what they don't know or what you don't get told is how much paperwork you've got to do, how much time you've got to spend playing the same level again and again and again, trying to find a bug anywhere. And then if you do, you've got to go all the way back again and look 
look for another bug because, you know, you've reported that now. So, you know, it just, it seems like a really good job. And like YouTubing, it seems like a really fascinating and awesome thing to do, but there's loads of very small but very annoying layers which just build up into this ginormous great white shark of fuck you, you're an asshole, but we love you really sort of thing. It's just, it's just so stressful. And I, I'm like on the ice tip of the iceberg. Like my channel is just notching on the top, you know? I have to deal with occasional copyright infringements because um, I forgot to turn the music down or I have to deal with a crap video now and again. But because I don't make money or I don't strive to be the best YouTuber out there because I, you know, I need to, I'm not gonna be a cocky bastard. I make my content because I like it, not because I want to be popular. And, you know, um, I, you know, stuff like that is, did I say that right? Make content because I like it, not because I want to be, yeah, okay, sorry, brain out. But yeah, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, the whole bloody system just buggers over YouTubers, and it's just, I feel sorry for them, because YouTube has been a dick this year, a proper dick this year. I mean, first of all, they started shoving down Google+, Plus, which I was very fortunate enough to have somehow stumbled my way through it and come out the other side with my out with my crap hunter name, not my actual name. And I thought, yeah, that's cool. And I, you know, didn't think too much about it. Then they did the comment section, which was, I think, probably the lowest of low blows this year. I mean, you know, because that's the thing that has affected me the most. But this whole copyright infringement bullshit is just taken another fucking piss. You know, any minute now, there's just going to be a latrine for YouTube, com you know, YouTube CEOs. And they go there and they piss out the next fucking patch, which then inevitably shits down onto us YouTubers. You know, and I find it really horrible that people are like that nowadays. That rather than thinking, hey, this person's helping us get publicity, you know, so and so on YouTube likes this game and as such he's really popular, maybe we should send a few bits of help, no, actually we don't like the fact that people are seeing our game for free, let's put a stop to that, and it's just like, fuck off, you bastards, Da. There should be a certain special kind of hell for you, you know, extra circle of hell from Dante's Inferno. You've got greed, you've got anger, and then you've got YouTube CEOs, and they're all sitting there like, bugger. Ah, oh, you know, it's just, it's just a frustrating pit. And I, and I feel like, I mean, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say this, or I'm justified in saying this, but yeah, I'm a little bit hacked off at YouTube. And to be honest with you, I know YouTube's going to collapse at some point. It's a sad, it's a sad thing. You know, every time you see one of these patches, it's like there's another nail in the coffin. Which will be the final nail? Will it be that YouTube only allows premium members to upload? Or will it be that YouTube now requires a password system to fucking type a comment in a sodding video? Or will YouTube CEOs eat babies and you know, kick kittens with steel toe cap boots, you know, just w what will it be that will finally seal the coffin on this really good and fantastic thing that is YouTube and drive everyone off, you know, it just, it's something which I really fucking hope doesn't happen because then that's like, however, my, oh, my year's worth of work gone down the drain and now we have to find something else. <clears throat> Okay, that was quite sad and very upsetting. Let's try and go to a more happier, joyful thing. World of Tanks! You! The main reason why I upload. Uh, and the main source of inspiration, if you may wonder. Um, yeah, basically, I have been recently grinding my teeth through getting up the German tank destroyer, like the glass cannon tank destroyer list. So, and I actually have made some significant progress. Um... I don't know if I've announced this before, or whether I've said it in a previous video, but I'll say it on this one because, why not? I have up, uh, I have fully researched the Jag, uh, Jagd Panther, uh, which ba Panther, basically, um, so I can now get the 30. Um, I've gone through the flak bus. I haven't unlocked it fully. The only I will tell the only thing I will say is that I have I've gone through to upgrade by get the Nashorn um, because. 
it's a tier 6 tank destroyer and there was like a sale going on this recently weekend just gone um, where those tanks were like 30% off or something like that pardon me so what I did was I got the Nazhorn and very fortuitously um, some modules in the Nazhorn were already unlocked I won't say what because that will spoil it and I want you to see it um, so I could grind a lot faster to get the Panzer Stur Emil. Um, I'm going to say Panzer Stur Emil because it's a tank somewhat. So yeah, the Stur Emil um, tank destroyer. So that's the tier 7 glass cannon tank destroyer. Um, I'm really looking forward to playing those tanks because every single tank is like, you know, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's really, I'm really looking forward to going through them. And I'm making, you know, I've actually made some significant progress. I've, I've previously stated I have a, a, um, a comet. I fully researched most of the tech tree. I've got like a radio to buy, and then I'm going to have to somehow get um, 100,000 experience before I can get a Centurion. That's going to take a while, so don't expect me to do a Centurion, it's here video for some time. But who knows, maybe if I have enough cash, I will try and free experience it because no man should have to sit in a comet for too long. Um, with updates to the VK3002 Aston Martin, I'm actually making some progress. Shock. Um, I've actually been able to sort of get myself... Um, <laughs> excuse me. I've actually been able to get um, towards like 30... less than Coming up to now less than 30,000 experience, which is actually quite a big thing for me. I know it sounds a bit silly for some, but... That tier 7 tank is an absolute bitch because it has got no kind of decent armament <clears throat> whatsoever. Um, you know, you get the L70, which is the tier 6 gun. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat now because I'm talking. <clears throat> um, it's got it's a tier 6 gun on a tier 7 tank, and it's the best gun I've got. The other choices you have a 105 or the L56 and the L56 has not got any kind of improvement it's the work it, in stats wise the L70 makes a lot more sense but I have got the top turret and I am grinding through and thanks to a platooning friend um, or friends I should say um, I'm getting slowly through it so maybe I'll be able to do a review of it at some point but anyhow so there's a, a, there's a, a lot of stuff that's going to be happen happening mostly it's tank destroyer based I won't lie um, I've been seriously going through the tank destroyer base, but that said, we've also got some fan bloody tastic replays to show you. I mean, Jesus Christ! Um, there's whilst I was doing the session, I had two games which were absolutely fantastic, and I will show you them um, because otherwise, it is, you know, it is absolutely. Um, I it, it, you have to see it to believe it. It's just that good. So um, yeah. I, anyway, so. Um, Anyway, so basically, sorry, family in the background. Um, yeah, so on to the next subject because that subject was interrupted somewhat, and I need to get on before it takes forever to record this. Yeah, Christmas! Yay, Christmas time! Woo! I love Christmas. Awesome time. Lots of prezies. Nah, it's not all about that. But anyways, um, yes, I've been thinking about it, and I'm going to be taking a break um, from YouTubing so I can enjoy time with the family, um, plan futurist, you know, future content, and sort of in a decent order. Because at the moment, my order of content is upload something once every two days, and that's as about as useful as I can get. Um, so what I'm going to be trying to do over the course is, you know, relax and enjoy a few days to myself, to enjoy Christmas, enjoy time with the family, and then, you know, coming up close to the 29th, um, sorry, coming up close to the end of the thing, then, um, then we can start planning about stuff. And the days that will be a small break, not a break from YouTube to leave YouTube, because last time I said that, people got confused and thought I was leaving YouTube, so I had to quickly snap back on and do that. I think I, shockingly enough, I think that was last year as well. That is kind of creepy. I remember that as well. Holy shit. Um, anyway, so yeah, um, from the 21st of December to about the 29th, I will be having a week break with the possible exception of me on Christmas day, uploading a happy Christmas video, wishing you all the best. Um, because that's what I like to do and it's all nice and pretty and it's all yay. But yeah, so that's the only kind of break I'm having um, for this this month slash year, uh, or slash. You know the drill, guys. Um, I'm, yeah. Well, anyway. So, um, continuing on to the last subject before this thing hits like 1,600 minutes. Um, I just wanted to say thank you 
very much to any and all people who have subscribed to my channel. Um, I really appreciate this, guys. I realise that, you know, um, I'm not the most professional of YouTubers out there, and I make mistakes like that one just then. <laughs> but thank you very much for sticking with this channel, and I thank you so much to anyone who takes an interest and, you know, tells friends about it and all that. All of that kind of stuff is greatly appreciated, and it inspires me to keep on going and to keep on making this stuff, because it's really for you guys. You know, I enjoy making this stuff, but at the same time, if it's crap quality, if you're not happy, I'm not happy, and that's, you know, that's, I believe that's a decent policy to have. So, I just wanted to say thank you very much, from the bottom of my heart, for all that sort, uh, for all your support, because it is absolutely fantastic to see you guys watching videos, and to know that it's not shit. With the possible exception of the AMX40 video, which I agree is a bad video, but watch the second review, that one's better. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, so that's about it for this very long video. Um, if you like this kind of content, feel free to let me know by clicking on the like button, commentating in the comment section down below, and of course, clicking that subscriber button to my channel. And I, if I don't, if you, you know, whatever stuff you're doing, whatever thing you're going to be doing for Christmas, I hope you have a lovely Christmas and a happy new year, and I will see you on some place somewhere. This is Crap Hunter, signing out.